Katuit looking to sweep the home and home with Wareham. Hogan Harris from Louisiana Lafayette gets the start for the Gateman. Colton Hawk from Stanford for the Kettleers. Top two, Jason DeLay socks a 3-2 pitch into the seats in left. His first home run of the year and the Kettleers lead 1-0. Bottom three with the bases loaded and Colton Shaver at the plate. He hits a grounder to second. Alonzo Jones has trouble fielding it, then rushes the throw over the shortstop Ryan Hagen's head into shallow left field. Two runs would score and the Gateman lead 2-1. to one. Next batter, Gavin Sheets, bloops a single to left. Another run comes in and the Gateman have a 3-1 to one lead. Bottom of the six with Robbie Metz at second. Nico Giratano hits a ball to left. Metz tries to score, and Quinn Brody shows off his gun. He pegs Metz at the plate to keep the game at 3-1. Top of the eighth, the Kettleers would cut into the deficit after a Jack Klein sack bunt. Cal Stevenson came to the plate with runners on second and third. He lofts a fly ball to the left. It's deep enough to score the run. Brody touches up, and the Kettleers are within one at 3-2. The Kettleers would not be able to get a rally going as they went down 1-2-3 in the ninth and snapped their two-game winning streak as they lose to Wareham three to two. No, I, I wouldn't, you know, I, I still think we're, we're, we're kind of an in-between club. We have decent speed, as you've noticed lately. I mean, we have a lot of left-hand hitters. We've seen a lot of left-handed pitching. And, you know, I think Jerry set that up on purpose today, you know, three lefties, which I don't blame him. And, um, and all three of them were quick to the plate. They slide step and cut down your running game a little bit. So we're kind of an in the, in the middle type club. I mean, all of a sudden, we've hit a couple home runs, but do we really think we can sit back and, you know, depend on any of that? No, I don't, I don't think we can. And I'm not sure any club can in the Cape.